Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to delete the base plate in the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you will want to have Roblox Studio open and I'm going to start a new game and I'm going to click one that has a base plate in the game. So we can see the base plate is there. Now, in order to delete the base plate, you want to go over to your workspace and typically it's named base plate. Now, if you created your own base plate, you might have named it something else. But in this game, it's named base plate. And so I'm going to click on that and that selects the base plate. And that will bring up the properties on the bottom. Again, if you if you need to see the explorer and properties, go up to view and then explore and properties. Okay, once I have the base plate selected, I just right click and then click delete. Now you can also just hit delete when you have it. Now to undo anything, you want to do control Z. So another way I could do it was just uh, select the base plate and then press delete on my keyboard. That will also delete the base plate. Now, if you would, if let's say you've deleted your base plate, but then you want to add one back in, uh, the best way I have learned how to do this is to go ahead and then just add a part and add it a block and then select the block and then you can scale it so that it is a large flat block, like something like that. And then uh, you can uh, click on the, the part that you created and then rename it base plate. And it will act much like a base plate uh, does. And so once I click that, you can see the properties on the bottom. And I can change everything from the uh, color to the material that it is. Right now it's concrete. I can do brick. And then the transparency and so on. So the properties for the uh, base plate are on the bottom right hand side in the properties tab. And again, so that's one area where you can edit the base plate. Um, I've got another video on how to edit and change the base plate. So you now know how to remove the base plate in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, please feel to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.